Hey guys, Vern Danke, welcome to Surat Thani. Today we are at Rama 9 Public Park and I'm here with my friend Dylan and he's from South Africa and he's lived in Thailand for about two years and we're gonna bop around this little park and have a chat. Let's check it out. Hey, 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 Vern. Hey. Hey, this is my friend Dylan. Hey, nice to meet you all. Yeah, good to, good to be on your YouTube channel, Vern. It's good to have you, man. Good Thank to have you. you. <laughs> Dylan basically was at the Karabi Hostel and I met him over there and he had been living in the Surat Thani area for a while and said, hey, you ought to check it out, it's pretty cool. So yeah. it inspired my trip here. So let's check out this park. Let's do it. See what you can tell me about it, Dylan. Well, all I know is uh, Thailand is blessed with uh, parks and abundance of parks, public spaces, mm -hmm. really beautiful, um, well-planted, They've got features, water features everywhere. It's kind of like going to a theme park, but uh, it's just for exercise and running and so on. So how do you like Surat Thani? Well, it's a great town. It's, it's very Thai. So if you want to see a place that's a little bit more authentic than Bangkok, uh -huh. it's kind of like a mini Bangkok, in my opinion. Oh. Uh, it's, it's a little bit easier on the, you know, on the nerves, because Bangkok's a pretty fraught place as far as traffic and just um, the noise and stuff. So I thought I'd spend my first couple of years out here. Nice. Just to get used to the you know the Thai vibe, uh, learn a bit of Thai, meet some Thai people. And so far so good. Now where I grew up on Minnehaha Creek in South Minneapolis, this was something that I remember seeing little bridges over the creek. Just a beautiful backdrop. Starting to rain, you guys. Bit of an English feel to it right now. <laughs> ah. All right, so it's raining, so we took shelter under this pagoda. In the Philippines, the Filipinos hate the rain. Is it the same with the Thai people? You know, um, I guess I guess it's more like the sun is the, the enemy here. Okay. The rain is kind of not as cursed. As okay. Far as where they <laughs> And, and I don't know what it is, but from what I've heard is a lot of Filipinos believe that if they get wet uh, from outside water, they're going to get sick. Really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that seems yeah. to be around the board. Like, a lot of foreigners also feel that way. Like, and mm. I, I must say, I feel a bit chesty after. In fact, that time I went to visit uh, Krabi mm -hmm. last weekend. Like, I, I had a bit of a chesty cough mm. after that, yeah. Something to do with the change in change in like uh, atmosphere okay it's affect the life yeah so i think when i was growing up they said you better get in here if it's raining out because you're going to get cold and wet and i think the association with getting cold and wet right. and getting a pneumonia was maybe what actually translated in, into the filipino is right you know don't get wet or you're going to get sick yeah 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 exactly but it wasn't really the same right I, so it's kind of like a spin-off of an old wife, old wife's tale. Mm -hmm. something like that. So a lot of times if it's raining, they'll feel like they have to go take a shower afterwards if they got like wet. a nice hot shower. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why people get sick when they, I mean, I, I, I've noticed I do, but I've also, I, 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 it doesn't make sense that you should. Mm. So, right. Makes no sense. Like surely we're tougher than that. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you would think so. Yeah. What percentage of foreigners are left now that... Oh, wow. There's a huge lack of teachers. I know that much because I'm a teacher myself. I'm an okay. teacher. So, so sparse. There are so few foreigners at this point in time. Apart from business owners in Samoy who are like expats who've married and to Thai, you know, families. Mm -hmm. But it's, yeah, it's... I mean, if you want to get away from the West, this is kind of the perfect place. Okay. Yeah. So it's ripe for work if a person was trying to find work. Oh yeah, if you if you need work, come on over. I mean, there's a ton of nice, a ton of jobs. Um, nice. Yes. Looking for teachers at this point, all over the place. That's good to know because yeah. a lot of people kind of lost their jobs after China put the kibosh on. Yeah, I feel I feel that's gonna bring a lot of foreigners here to Thailand mm. because okay. because it's so the work is so it's abundant here. 
Nice. But, That's good. That's yeah. good because it's 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 a lovely place to live, and it has a lot going for it here. Absolutely, it really does. It's gorgeous. It's sort of like pristine. Mm. Yeah. 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 Culturally. Yeah, and there's a lot of things that other people expect, like cultural norms, cultural things that, like, well, not even just cultural, just everyday amenities up to a certain standard that people expect right you know right. like yeah. stop signs and stop lights and right and yeah. you want to know if you're stopping at that place that somebody else is going to stop too so having having things that people connect to that they're right. used to is important so where you come from in south africa is it similar to here or is oh yeah it definitely i mean we've got everything but you know south africa is a very divided society so depending on where you live mm -hmm. if you're coming in as a foreigner you're likely going to stay in a place that's pretty first world okay but if you want to sort of live in the in the townships which i've done myself it's uh, very rustic very you know you've got toilets that are just holes in the ground basically mm. yeah. right but um yeah, I'd say Thailand, Thailand, they love luxuries. So, I mean, especially in a place like Sarai. Okay. It's, it's pretty uh, luxury oriented, it's lifestyle oriented. So you can get along really well in, in Sarai. Nice. You said before Surat is yeah. kind of like a stopover for Koh Samui, right. the That's island. That's right, yeah. So unless you're working here, you'll probably just pass through. But if you if you want to explore Surat, I definitely recommend it. There's some home share programs. You can stay with people, authentic Thai people, and they will they will help you to um, basically live the Thai life. And it's That's great. It's pretty comfortable. It's not it's not at all weird or like kind of you're not eating frogs every day with bugs. <laughs> That's good. You can if you want to. Though. Yeah. Wow. I, uh, yeah, you can. Wow. Yeah. Huh. I, I look at the snails and I get kind of grossed out looking at a snail to eat, but a frog, yeah. I guess yeah. the legs would be okay maybe. Yeah, if that's they were good. cooked. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we need a raw, but... Buy them live and then you cook them mm. yourself. I'm not sure how. Yeah, that would be a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> huh. So how often does it rain here? Is it is it just in the fall months? We're, we're in the rainy season at the moment, which I think began... Uh, yeah, it began July, carrying on into like uh, about uh, September, roughly. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. yeah. So uh, it's pretty rainy. We we have floods here quite often. Yeah, you not, do not devastating floods, but oh, good. You know, some houses do get swamped. You don't want to be living on the river. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that river looks like it can really be treacherous. Yeah, yeah. So that river, um, there were a lot of suicides at one point. Um, so my girlfriend tells me she's tired. Mm. Yeah, that. people jumping over. A lot of pressure on the students here. Oh wow. Yeah, and a lot of pressure on you know people economically sometimes. Right, right. To get ahead, you know, they mm -hmm. want to impress their parents. They don't want to stay in a third world kind of environment. Mm. If you've got money and you're coming from the west, that's fine. You know, you, you'll fi you're fine. But there, you you will see poverty here. Um, so yeah, the suicide in that river was pretty tremendous. Mm. Um, it's, it's got a real undertow, so wow. people get kind of dragged as they... Oh yeah. boy. Yeah. It's a sad, sad. It is sad. And that's why they lit the bridge up that you'd mentioned before? Right, exactly. There's a, there's a bridge that goes into um, another suburb from CBD1 to CBD2. Okay. And uh, they lit it up as kind of, a, 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 I guess, a memorial to, mm. to all those who, 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 who died. Mm. And it's sort of very bright and sort of like... Um, it's heartening, you know. When I came, that's the first thing I saw. Okay. Beautiful bridge. Mm. Early, um, like very, very kind of like Asian as well. Very, mm. uh, very festive. Yeah. 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 So. So has the suicide rate dropped since they did that? I'd say the only reason people could jump over there was because nobody saw them jump. Oh. It's sort of like they'd wait for a dark spot and then jump. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So when the lights came on, you know, nobody. It's about keeping face here. You don't do anything that's too awkward in oh. Asia. You know, you know this from right, right, right. The Philippines, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's pretty, pretty interesting. But you know, on the whole, you find everyone's got the same kind of desires in life to to just be happy. You know, and right. uh, I feel, I feel, it's quite a harsh culture in some senses here, but. You'll, you'll find you can relate to people they're so kind and and, and 
Like it's very nourishing for the soul to come to a place of time and yoga. So tell me about this whole gold thing. I, I see all these yeah. stores selling gold everywhere. Right. Yeah, gold's. I, I believe it's part of the uh, the culture. Uh, it's used in marriage. Okay. So you would buy a certain uh, amount of baht and uh, of gold. So baht is not the currency. It's it's. it's measure of, of gold oh wow it's like a weighted hmm. amount of gold okay and um and then you'd, you'd give that to the parents when you marry it's sort of a dowry is it a lot how much is it what are we talking I'm about i'm not sure i I, huh. I i don't feel i don't think it's a lot in western terms you know? okay i think it's probably in the region of about like a thousand dollars okay which isn't too bad if you're looking at marrying mm. um yeah, and then, and then, oftentimes they'll give it back. You know, oh, wow. they'll give it back to you yeah, for, for the for the relationship. You know, wow. to keep it. It's lightly sprinkling out here, but the temperature—it's so warm. I mean, right. have you ever been cold here? Uh, you know, unless I'm riding on my bike a long way. Mm. Yeah, I actually had hypothermia on the way to, uh, like a slight, a slight little nip of hypothermia because I like, I walked into seven, on the way to Krabi. I walked into seven and like I, I was getting dizzy. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, that, that was just my foolishness. But mm. you know, unless you're driving without a raincoat, you, you're not gonna get cold. But yeah, you can't. The, the elements are pretty rough, you know, as far as like your rain and stuff. You okay. get rain on a lot and, um, in the winter, winter season, in the rainy season. Yeah. So in the Philippines, yeah. sometimes in the higher elevations, it'll get darn cold in the oh, morning, really? and that, that they happens. have a place in. Let's see, it would be north of Manila in Baguio that gets so cool Jeez. that you literally have to put a sweatshirt on. No way. I think it's like 40 degrees. No way. So how far is that up? Like or what? what uh, I long, think it's four hours you? north of Manila, up right. into the mountains. Okay, so that's that's like north of Chiang Mai and that like side. <sighs> you know, I'm that. not sure how that okay. would set up. But <laughs> yeah. you, you were telling me also that yeah. in the northern part, it's actually cooler. Yeah, it gets frosty. Yeah, that really, it gets frosty. You need a jersey and stuff. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, that's when, that's where you'll see all the sharp owners will sell like um, hoodies and ah. like all kinds of the, the types of clothes that get sold change. I had no idea. Yeah, whereas here, you're very lucky to see, you know, the, the ladies all wearing like short shorts and stuff. I mm -hmm. mean, it's quite a quite a, a culture shock, but not in a bad way, but. You know, when you go up north, it's like it's more traditional, like long dresses, and everyone's mm. quite like warmly, warmly gussied up. Yeah, yeah. So where do you find the old Thailand with the rings around the neck, the gold rings? Oh where yeah, you find that? no, like I'm not that knowledgeable in this, but I know you go a little bit, you go a little bit up uh, north from here, and then you'll see like places where old ancient battles happened, mm. where they used elephants and stuff. Oh and my then, gosh. So a little bit north from, from Surat, which is in the south, so like sort of central, and then you go way up north to Chiang Mai, uh, Chiang Rai, and mm -hmm. Isan province, and okay. uh, you have a lot of stuff going on there, yeah, historically, uh, that old that old style, yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's where they had the elephant guns, right? The big, big old elephant guns. Oh, the elephant, <laughs> elephant guns, yeah. I don't know about, I don't know about those. You're going to have to educate me on that. Yeah. Well, to put down an elephant, you needed a pretty big we gun. an elephant, yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, so right. They, I thought you meant like a gun that shot like, like an elephant shooting things. Like, oh, no, no. With no. like guns strapped to an elephant. Oh. Like, oh my God. Well, I think there was stuff like that, that okay. they, they could militarize an elephant, but I'm not that versed in it. Wow. But I've, I, wow. I, I've seen things where they could militarize an elephant. It's insane. It is. That people are wicked when they want yeah. to do stuff. No, for sure. You know? Very inventive. Right. Right. This is a college town here in Saratani. Sure, yeah, yeah. Saratani is uh, it's a town, uh, it's a university town. It's got a couple of technical colleges, and then it's got um, it's got the, the Rajapat, Rajapat University, which it's got branches all over, like or the like all over Thailand. But it's got one here, mm -hmm. it's a, basically a public university, and um, so you'll find it's quite a young kind of vibey city. It's a, it's a vibey city, on it because of that. Whereas the, like most people in Thailand are, are pretty old. Mm. It's a very old population, so. When you, when you hit a town like this, you'll feel the difference. Um, you'll see people, people, it's like, uh, are a lot younger, more more kind of hip. Um, okay. Yeah, a lot more going on here. That's why I say it's kind of like a mini Bangkok, you know. 
So what about yeah. the price for the schools in Thailand if you want to go to college? What's right, the, what's right. Now, like? now I feel admissions might be like basically restricted to places like Bangkok. Mm. Um, probably, probably like I, I, I would estimate like two thirds cheaper, like you know, than, okay. than, than usual. Um, but around this area, you're probably not gonna be able to get into mm. any place because it's not it's not bilingual. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you'd have to study. You'd have to know Thai. I ah, think. Yeah. Right, and I don't right. know if the government, the government would allow you into a public institution. Here. Interesting. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Do they even teach English in the schools here in the public schools? That's a. It's a bit of a. It's a bit of an issue in Thailand. Uh, um, uh, English teaching, to begin with, is very. It's very challenging. It's like uh, there are a few schools that have got a handle on it, but most most of the time the, the, the programs aren't that effective. Okay. And with the the kind of competition from other countries offering more money, especially China, uh, for for teachers, what you end up with in Thailand is you get people who want to be in Thailand, or people who just want to kind of kind of get by uh, without a it's sad to say but without a degree. Okay. Um, I, I I've got my degree, so yeah. But a lot of the time, it's kind of people are desperate for teachers, so they, they don't take the the best qualified people. Mm. And um, yeah, so so I feel like it's kind of hamstrung. Thailand's in a bit of a bad space for for English. Like you go to a bank here, and they can't help you with like basic basic stuff, um, right. setting up insurance or whatever it is. You know, you need an interpreter. Yeah. I'm finding even a lot of the young people right. don't even know English, which is surprising yeah. because yeah. everywhere else that I've traveled, usually a lot of the young people will know some English and you can converse with them. But exactly. Here, it's they look at me, no English, they say, and I'm thinking, well, you just spoke English. How much more do you know? <laughs> so, yeah. They don't want to tell you, but I don't know. It gets difficult to navigate here without yeah. people true. knowing enough English. That's true. It's tough. So you got to find yourself a, a good like connection who can interpret for you mm. a friend um, it's easy to make friends here so uh, but uh, yeah you're gonna you're gonna have to know a bit of Thai or yeah something right <laughs> you have to invest in that yeah mm. so we were talking together about how most people will just go to the islands and this is more of a traditional city Thailand feel that's right Hopefully the wind isn't too bad, you guys. So, how much more value do you think this was for you than going to the tourist spots and seeing the tourists and, and having this be like? Right. Yeah, I, I feel like as a tourist, you're getting a lot of uh, a lot of the varnish and the kind of um, you, you're seeing what's advertised as far as tourism goes. Mm -hmm. So you're being you kind of being. You're living in this like kind of this pasteboard kind of thing that's been set up for you, and that's great, and, and everyone wants that. But if you want to see like how working, how working Thai city is, and how if you're interested in in like kind of what's behind the scenes, you know, yes. the kind of family dynamics, the, the 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 politics, the the way people are, you know, without 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 being, you know, just. A, a holiday destination right the meat and the like, potatoes the meat and the potatoes of life <laughs> yeah i'd say well, it's I'd something say, to bite and do instead of just eating. exactly that could that yeah. could uh, potentially make you a more well-rounded individual mm. like if you were to see like apart from just the marketing and advertising mm. what what it's what thailand's really about get look under the hood you know right. <laughs> yeah that's a good one yeah now since the tourism isn't is hopping right now i think this is what a person should be vlogging because this yeah, is the I real right. I, I was just thinking that yeah like i mean you hit a nail on the head um it really is where the life is you go to mm. the tourist towns at this point in time and uh it's, just, it's kind of it's kind of upsetting like how business has been shown and stuff but you come here and it's there's life it's amazing mm. you feel suddenly this like uplifting sense that you know there's life in, in thailand nice yeah and that's good and that's what people need to see i see a lot of videos where people just they they go right. somewhere and they just complain this isn't this way i'm leaving here i'm yeah. leaving there and i'm thinking yeah. what a baby just go just go totally. i mean why are you here at all if if if, if you don't understand yeah. that 
the way things were aren't how they are now and they may not be that way for a while so why did you come here expecting to find that and yeah and then get mad because it's not that way it's I, I like, can understand it I mean if, if I came if I came to Thailand and did spend a lot of money to get here and it just it wasn't like a, a, a like even a tiny a tiny percentage of what it was mm. I could I could I could feel that but but um, it's an opportunity as well like you say you know, it's right. an opportunity like you can you can see a lot of very cool coffee shops here very cool spaces um, for kind of art and and uh, just old antique shops you know I, I I feel I feel people maybe lost touch with like the, the the old history of places right so it's an opportunity to get back into the the real kind of culture of the place but, that's a very good point. yeah that's a very good point yeah. instead of the the quick plastic dynamic you know to yeah. make a dollar off you hey come here look at this exactly. beautiful ride to here to there and that's it and then yeah plus you yeah. get to avoid any like false kind of stuff you know you get to see real people mm. meet real meet, yeah. meet real friends you know that's yeah. that's very yeah. valuable yeah that's yeah and that's that's why i came here i came here to find the real thailand to me that was important i want to see the old communities i want to see the vibe i want to feel how the energy is between yeah, the people and the is. foreigners in the normal city that maybe exactly. doesn't yeah. have a thousand foreigners yeah. in, in one area in, in five minutes right right you know? exactly that's what it is just find the value in real life right yeah you know and so yeah it's quite encouraging when you notice that everyone is basically the same mm. <laughs> like everyone has the same desire to be happy and to to kind of live a, a peaceful life mm. you know and thailand's all about peace mm. and uh and i feel people are very very understanding here and very uh very warm mm. um yeah it's interesting you say that i chatted a girl that was on the bus on the way over here and she was from the philippines and she said that she'd lived here i think it was like 12 or 13 years right and she said that the people were really beautiful people and she really got a lot out right. of it being here and she was also a teacher wow amazing she was very impressed with the culture and i yeah. think she liked the energy between the people better here than she did back in her home for amazing. her how about thing. that yeah so yeah. you know and she, when somebody comes here as an expat and looks for something more than just the tourist spots I think over time that's where you're really going to get something out of it. You're yeah. going to have something to take away with you. Right. Yeah, it's it's. There's a saying: you don't learn very much on vacation. That's true. So that's true. Yeah. It's more of an escape than it is a connection into deep, meaningful yeah. things <laughs> meaningful more stuff. often. So, yeah. like if you uh, want to get rooted in in your place and the human kind of the world of humans, you know, and, and see what makes understand people better. Mm. I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm really fulfilled here at the moment. Yeah. In that sense, yeah. That's good. Yeah. And things are really cheap here. Things are really affordable. Yeah, yeah. Super, super affordable. And uh, are people are so grateful when you buy from them. Like, you know, nice. you come here as a tourist and you're, it's not much to you, like, you know, a couple of dollars and you get like a meal. Uh, but to them, it's just like, wow. And they, they greet you and they're like, and they're so happy when you come back, when you find that place that you love. Mm. Yeah, that's great. It's like a treasure. Yeah, it is. You know? It really is. Yeah, and you keep, you tend to keep. Well, I, I know the people I know. They keep going back to the, the same, the same old friends that they meet. Mm, you know, nice. on holiday, that one little spot in the market, that mm -hmm. one little yeah. Pad Thai restaurant. You know, so they feel centered, like it's a home for them, a, a, a place they yeah, feel they belong. Exactly. It's a kind of a place where your soul kind of yeah. can gravitate to every time. You, you things get a bit heavy in, in the, at home, you know. <laughs> you can come to Thailand. Yeah, yeah, it's great. That's yeah. that's important, and that's that's really the value in traveling. I think. Yeah, yeah. To find something more and outside yourself, and bring that into yourself, and then connect yourself to that, and right. kind of tie it all together. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, you know? I yeah. mean, it, because people want to know from us what we think about them, and what we can offer them in a sense of ourselves yeah exactly you know? the other thing Vern, is like i find when you're when you're at home so many things stay the same mm. that you don't appreciate anything that's different mm. when you travel outside of your comfort zone you you're basically seeing who you are oh. and you kind of you 
kind of splashed across you know the world mm. as opposed to just like being a static being you you're in a place where you, your canvas is you know people's reactions mm. you you're seeing how people react to your soul as just as you are you, you don't have to pretend you don't have to be in a role mm. um, and people don't take you for granted you don't take them for granted and you you see like when when you take everything away that is familiar to you you begin to understand yourself don't you feel i like that yeah i like that well said oh uh, great well tried, said i tried <laughs> <laughs> you did great i don't think i could have said that any better and that's it when you when you're out of your comfort zone experiencing something so different than yourself it really opens you up to receive also and i think that is really something special and that's that's something you, you can't find unless you exit your familiar territory. Yeah. Really, it is, it is something really cool.